Do you know what the final painting is gonna look like? Of course not. That's like calligraphy. I just got 90% cooler. Nope. <laughs> Hello, this is Mary Doodles. This is Spotlight Studio, where we highlight unique and incredible artists and their amazing artwork. Today, I'm going to be meeting up with Man One. He's a LA graffiti artist. I'm excited for this. Body people dance. Hi, Man One. Yes. I'm Mary. Hey, Mary. Welcome to my nice studio. Nice to meet you. Whoa! <laughs> did you do all this? This is all mine. First time I did graffiti, I was probably about 16 years old. Yeah, no, I have stuff on here from all the way from the 90s to now. This is decades worth of work in here. What is this big thing? Uh, that's our little canvas for the day. Yeah? Yeah, that's what we're going to work on. Yeah, what are we doing that today? Yes! <laughs> Let's do it. You always gotta have caps. So I'm gonna use black as the background for this piece and it'll make my colors pop. Do you know what the final painting is gonna look like? Of course not. <laughs> it's gonna, I like I'm it. gonna reveal it to you as I reveal it to myself. I like your style. <laughs> so what dimensions are we working with? So this is roughly eight feet by 10 feet. You know, so it's small. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of my murals end up being 50 to 100 feet wide, so this is a, uh, all in a day's work. Right. That's like calligraphy. You're beautiful. <laughs> wow. Right. When did you start doing graffiti? 16 years old in high school. Literally some kid was, um, tagging on the bus. He gave me the marker and I started tagging. I just wrote Mantronics and then I was hooked. I realized Mantronics was way too long of a name. I'd probably get arrested by the time I got to the X. So I shut it, shrunk it down to just man. And the one is kind of like, you know, you're the originator of that name in that city. Yeah. So still doing it, man one. It's, so, it's such like a smooth stroke. Is it in the wrist? Is it the arm? Yeah, so, so we call it can control. It's kind of hand-eye coordination, but also knowing how much pressure to put on a tip, um, knowing how to move your wrist and all that, you know? How far away to hold it from the surface. So that's what we call it can control. So maybe we do, maybe we do a doodles. <gasps> I would love to be a doodles on a wall. That's actually a cool graffiti name. Thank you. I just got 90% cooler. This is what, oh wow, what an honor. Thank <laughs> you. you. Mary. I'm ready, coach. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Wanna try this? Y yes, I do. All right. But you wanna do spray one way, stop, spray the other way, so you're overlapping. Okay. Right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you can go up and down too. It doesn't have to just be, it could be up and down. It could okay. Be... Once I get in the rhythm, I feel so like then... I'm way more robotic than you are. <laughs> so see, see how you get a little bit of overspray on yeah. here? Yeah. So what you wanna do is you, you Turn the cap, and that will create a line. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. All right. So that way you don't overspray. There you go. Ah! There's no mistakes you got in graffiti. A little bit of There's no mistakes in graffiti. You can always fix it. Don't even worry about it. This is a, so this is an outline cap. Okay. And it provides a thinner line. You see that? Oh, cool? I see. If you're not good at making decisions, you won't be good at graffiti. It's all about immediacy. I've seen you crank this out, and I, I imagine it comes from the need to just... Get in and get out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what is it about your style that makes it unique? Instead of working with uh, outlines, for example, on faces, I'll do a lot of the color, working with shapes and design to create something three-dimensional. You know, the old school way of doing characters would be like, you outline it, color it in kind of a flesh color, but I like to do mine very colorful, uh, kind of surreal. Once you see it at the end, you'll understand.
So for anybody who is feeling inspired to pick up some spray paint and mm -hmm. make their own art, do you have any tips for starters? Get yourself a panel, right? Like a four by eight wooden panel okay. to start. You know, your first dozen cans, you're probably gonna kill them on some wall or something, right? So just get a panel, paint it white, get yourself some good spray cans and some good tips and nozzles, a bunch of different kinds, and then just start testing. Start using the different caps on the different cans and see which ones you like. And But do it on a panel because you can paint and then once it dries, you don't like it, you paint over it. Oh, right? okay. And then once you feel, okay, this is good, I, I kind of got the hang of it, then, you know, you can start doing canvases, you can start doing walls, you know, vehicles, whatever. Awesome. <laughs> whatever you want to do. Graffiti is illegal. There's an element of danger to it. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that affected you as an artist? Number one, to uh, you know, plan accordingly, get in and get out, right? Okay. And then also don't be attached to the final piece because it may be gone the next morning. Wow. You may wake up and the city already painted it over. People say, oh, don't you feel real real bad when you have to sell a painting? And I say, I have, no, just I want to sell it and get it out. I want to see it no more. Because in my head, it's like, you know, it's done. It's the process of doing it. And once it's a piece of art, like it's over, you know? And like, it, I guess that comes from my graffiti background that it may not be, it may not exist tomorrow. So just enjoy it now and then move on to the next piece. Done. Yeah, what do you think? beautiful. Awesome. This has been so fun to just watch it come to life and watch you play. Thank you. Thank you. This is incredible. This is amazing. Man one, I could just sit and watch you painting all day. <laughs> this has been an honor and a treat. For sure. Thank you. Yeah. I learned how to make graffiti today. I feel like I'm ready to hit the streets. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Spotlight Studio. I'm Mary Doodles. This is Man One. This is amazing. And so are you. <laughs> <laughs>